Good day, friends. Welcome to episode 18 on Baron Rock. Uh, I mean, naked brutality. Uh, you know the drill. So we're today sitting on a completed research table and uh, gas operation is getting researched soon. Uh, I wanted to uh, order Flays to finish that wall as soon as possible because there's no roof. This thing will burn if it rains, but then I remembered where I am and I don't mind. There's no rain here. So how's the food stocks now? <sighs> we had a lot of uh, things that gave us meat, right, right. Okay, so everything is quite fine. Training Risa, yeah. My good old donkey. Flaze is suffering from a heat stroke. Uh, the good old, uh, the good old extreme desert never gets old. So I can research auto cannon turrets and precision rifling. Uh, these are the premier technologies. I mean, uh, it's uh, assault rifles and big turrets. What can you possibly want more? So. Okay. But apart from that, it's still a pretty barren rock and I'm, I'm still waiting for my uh, breeding specimen for the iguanas. Like really. How much longer can a man wait for his lizards? Seriously. I'm going to reinstall the uh, res the simple research bench over here, simply because um, it's better than nothing. And it belongs into this room, I feel like. So some new stools, we're going to make them out of, uh, well, I have a lot of different stones available. Let's do some gap row. Makes me gonna get rid of the most of those. Or, oh, dang, only one. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's keep going with granite. I mean, it's not really a professional way to work on a on a research table sitting on a granite stool, but uh, I don't want to take it this, uh, this specific here. Okay, we are now in a very, very good spot. I was just checking out all the things. So still a very weird setup for me and I want to centralize a few things now that I have so many people working here and uh, we're, we're sitting on stable, um, on a stable situation. I really feel like I want to put up another house here and uh, maybe do the tailoring in there or I don't know maybe relay the main uh, storage area or well, whatever might be the case I thought about this as my today's project um, I'm having a dirty amount of granite chunks there so let's uh, do a few more granite blocks uh, up ahead. So, uh, uh, Flace is building those stools. Okay. Apart from that, let's check out if there are any incomplete, um, marriages on. Yay! Um, if there are any incomplete work orders, I want to, uh, finish before I start a new big project. But, uh, no. There's only uh, the the stooling. <laughs> I mean, I could Flace. Uh, I could let Flace do some artwork as well. Mm. Sign a Danis' pr uh, prisoners. Seven royal favor to keep four prisoners for eight days. Is that even remotely a possibility? I have one free bed here. And apart from that, one free room there. Uh, you don't want to live in this room at all. So, uh, not really. Not really. 
I prefer not to. At the same time, I'm just realizing that I'm also needing a throne room, so this is even a bigger no-no. Alright. We need this uh, room going on here. Or do I really want to do boring granite? I mean, is there, isn't there any uh, more exciting alternative around here? Except for Charnikite and uh, Granite. Something more lively, perhaps. Mm. Oh, I guess it's not looking its not looking really good. I mean, I could do Emerald, but that would be quite decadent. But apart from that, no, 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 no. Okay. So, it's going to be good old Granite. The, the Emerald is uh, right now just uh, very tempting to me. I have a certain idea in mind. Hmm. Well, I would need some green rocks for that though, which I don't have. I could, uh, I could send some caravans to get that, but uh, this sounds a little bit uh, too much to me. Ah, we're finally deconstructing those old fellas. Nice. Wait a sec. Deconstructing steel barricade. Oh, these old jobs. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to put on new jobs for now because I feel like it's uh, there's uh, finally some things that are getting done here, which I was uh, waiting for a long time. <laughs> So, first off, I feel like I want to do another living quarters in this area, just uh, to have more rooms available. I feel like this is a very, very important thing. And uh, next to that, oh man. Next to that, I seem to need another cooler. This is the extreme desert after all. I have enough of those. Um, I think it's uh, also quite important to head towards fabrication due to the fact that my components are really running low and I, I don't know where to take new components from uh, at this map anymore. So uh, I'm still having uh, Good options of uh, picking new, picking up new steel. There are some more nodes, but uh, there's no more compact machinery, at least not clearly visible there. And uh, so the next few technologies are quite clear, um, and I really consider. Um, really consider to uh, bring up some second person up for um, the research more regularly like right now I feel like there's not we're not making progress quick enough um, Caro is uh, doing a good job here but uh, <sighs> there should be more so let's check the numbers um, Jane and Carol are the best uh, two persons I have for this job, so... Jane is my miner, and uh, Caro is my grower. So if I would let these works uh, only in Acevedo's hands... I mean, Acevedo will be completely uh, bummered with the amount of work on, it, on him there, but uh, at least... Jane would be able to uh, research more. I don't know why she doesn't, though. Why is crafting more important for her? And north aside. Okay, I mean, let's mine that stuff. Let's see how many chunks we'll get from that. So now I can at least understand why Jane doesn't do that. I think uh, probably Jane started to cut stones the moment uh, the table got transported. Sometimes they get stuck in a loop. If the original, if the, if the thing you're thinking there they need to do now uh, was not available the moment when they were looking for a new job. 
I don't know if this all makes sense, but uh, if you're playing long and uh, Rimworld long enough, I'm afraid it does. Okay, so let's see how many Anorthoside junks I can achieve because uh, these meteorites are offering me new flavors of color and uh, honestly I am intrigued. This is uh, at least some 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 more friendly color. It's a little bit boring, it just looks like a pinkish gray, but uh, oh, come on. Out here in the desert you start to uh, relish in the simple pleasures of life. Gotta say, the extreme desert is a very, very fun and challenging environment. I hadn't, I didn't expect so much fun from this uh, pile when I started this one, honestly. But uh, there I am. It's, uh, it doesn't stop being challenging because you're so severely restricted with everything. <laughs> just insane. I mean, I could have uh, researched hydroponics way earlier and uh, solved the whole um, agriculture problem a little bit more uh, effectively. Like, I could have already uh, done a lot more uh, smoke leaf or such, or, or cloth, um, and earn more money with that, but uh, oh, oh, is it a... dang another no it's all good it's all cool it's the it's the iguana i need oh finally the male iguana has arrived oh cheers to that come on flays let's uh or, or was wasn't flays my animals guy there yeah yes he is so finally i have uh opened up my one of my mo most important sources of income for this colony, the lizard farm, can now finally begin again. I mean, there was a time when we had a lot more lizards, but uh, then a nasty raid came in and I lost a, a few animals there. So, it's going to take a few uh, attempts now uh, until um, we're going to tame that shy creature. So, a north aside, 160. Not bad. I mean, I, I suppose we can do something out of that. Let's uh, prioritize these. Um, 160, that'll be divided by 3. 32 squares I can do of that. That's really not much. Not too much. Mm. Okay. So, I don't know what we're going to make out of these unmorphosite uh, blocks. Ah, some, some more lepidolite would be really nice. I, <laughs> I really want to build with that stuff. One day I have, have to look for a tile with this uh, colored stuff. I really like that violet tone. Okay. Caro is idling? Why? You should be researching. Why are you not researching? <laughs> What's going wrong here? Why is Caro preferring crafting work over the research like that. I don't understand it. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. She doesn't stop with it. You can't manually order somebody to do that. So uh, last try I'm going to uh, cut her out of the crafting business completely. And now let's see what will happen. So she's really Avoiding the research work at all costs. Did I uh, place it down wrong? No. <laughs> it's reachable, but she just doesn't feel like it, I guess. What the heck? I really don't don't see the error there. So, <laughs> Caro just doesn't have interest in research anymore. <laughs> What's happening? I really don't understand why. That, that normally doesn't happen. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's uh, let's let's tell Flays that he's uh, ought to research now too. Maybe it helps. Maybe he's going to do that now. 
you know, of course he's uh, smoothing the floor and doing other stuff before that, but uh, well. <sighs> the last option I see is just to give uh, everybody the uh, permission to uh, do the research there. So, the only thing I can't imagine is that she's not doing it because she wants the uh, high-tech research bench. Oh, yes! Now I understood my problem! Ha <laughs> ha! So, in case if you didn't know it yet, maybe you... I guess you already figured it out way before me. Um, you can only research precision rifling on a high-tech research bench. So, this is... Uh, is basically non-existent for this research and that's a problem so I can uh, can calm down my horses so uh, we can uh, leave everything as it is Caro was uh, doing everything just okay there no need to go bonkers okay most of the time when things are just really not working out there's uh, a, a, a simple solution there Oh man, come on. Not not in the Not in the marriage room. Seriously. And uh while a solar flare disgusting. So uh um, no, you, you can't go in there right now, dear. Caro shoo shoo. So I'll just wait for a sec because uh I would really like to avoid um, I would really like to avoid fighting this out while there's a solar flare. Usually these things don't uh, last forever. And, um, okay, we're going to do this. Uh, reinstall some, some turret or mm, no. It's actually not the right spot. Um, we're going to go for the indoor turrets. That's what we're going to do. I mean, you can obviously only do that when you're having a no friendly fire mod, which is uh, quite obviously pretty OP, but I don't mind. My turrets are able to uh, discern friend from foe. It's the year 5,500 for God's sake. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I wish it's, uh, this uh, game would be uh, not ticking me off so hard on uh, with the friendly fire turned on because uh, I admit it, it's me that I'm not feeling like he's cheating. It's the only reason why I'm talking about it so much, but uh, yeah, well. So uh, let's just hope they're not going to mine out uh, out of this room. Once they start hitting the walls here, I'm going to uh, intervene immediately. It's random which wall they pick. Usually they uh, keep going for the mountain there, but I don't know. Just wait for the solar flare to end. So uh, let's uh, wake up the sleeping people. There ought to uh, take a breakfast there. Oh, we're now doing the uh, the dance of repair. Okay. Uh, so uh, now they're breaking free, and there's still a solo flare going on. Oh man, it's so annoying. Okay, so I'll just hope that uh, during the fight, the solar flare will end. Also, uh, all these indoor turrets are now being useless. What a shame. Oh gosh. I just hope the solar flare will end soon. Like, come on, how long can that go? So, uh... I need to put somebody in front of that. Oh, this is worst case scenario. Uh, if I fight it, fight this out like that, I'm going to die 100%. Uh, Amanda is already in a very, very uh, problematic spot there. So, uh... <laughs> no, not my iguanas again.
Alright, so, um... This is really bad. So, uh, let's, let's run for now. Hide away in the, uh, barn. That's, uh, possibly the best thing I can do. So, the person standing up front is always the unlucky guy, but, uh... Oh, now finally the friggin' solar flare is over. Nice. Okay. So, um... Uh, Amanda has still seven hours before she dies. That's good. Okay. Alright. There we go. So there are... Whoa, they're mating well. Come on, that's brutal. Ugh. So, uh, I just hope uh, Joyce won't die. Uh, yeah, okay. So, uh, yeah, my babysitting quest there just failed due to that. So, uh. Okay, it's only one of the female iguanas who's dying. That's the first good. Uh, the first good. Uh, message the other iguana just isn't hasn't been tamed yet so uh okay <sighs> okay so let the micromanagement begin um caro is uh good enough to uh to care for herself so uh i'll actually order her to do so um the iguana here will just die. I don't want that to happen. So I'll take one of my best doctors to uh, save the animal. That would be Jane. But uh, Amanda, well, I don't think I'll need uh, Jane on Amanda there. So, uh, let's see how this will work out. Okay, so Flaze is uh, carrying Amanda over there to the bed. Uh, uh, there were six hours on the uh, medical timer. I, I guess we are okay with that. So, uh, what about the iguana though? Okay. There's the other iguana. Carol is uh, tending to herself. Lucy is uh, eating. Well, he needs to eat. But the uh, iguana is dying in five hours. Hmm. So Caro is uh, in a quite good shape. Flays and uh, Jane are busy. So yeah, I guess I'll let Lucy uh, grab a bite of food and uh, afterwards rescue the iguana. Okay. And that should be everybody. Uh, oh, except for Joyce. Oh. Oh dear. How good is Acevedo there? Oh, he's not assigned to doctoring. Let's change that. Okay. So, is the quest... Uh, over now? Yeah, it is. So I can keep the uh, porcupine. At least that's something. And uh, actually, both of my iguanas survived. Oh, nice! Only the poor porcupine died. Mm. It's a pity, but. Uh, so, what about your wrigglers? that. Oh, shame about the Patparaja bet, but uh, we have to uh, kill off the hives too. Medical emergency. Death in 13 hours. Oh my. 
Okay, she's uh, having a, a lot of wounds, so uh, um, I'll swap the doctors here. Um, first off, I'm going to take some real meds now, and uh, point two, Jane will do that now. There we go. Wow, Amanda really tanked. <laughs> She should have some PTSD after that. Like, seriously. Look at these wounds. Too many to count. Amanda Madden is sure some tough person. Wow. Okay, let's do some art. I mean, or, uh, no, actually, another thing. Let's get rid of these, uh, hives. That solar flare was super nasty on the infestation. Seriously, having a solar flare while a while a uh, while an infestation kicks in in an area where you can't just uh, leave it be until it ends. Wow, that was one of the nastiest infestations I've ever had. Really, honestly, this is a uh... oh a shaman merchant. I'm quite impressed about how uh, how how evil this uh, infestation was well played but i was i was better at least this time okay so we're suffering from low food hmm. well not too much longer i have planted so many potatoes and uh there are a lot of uh um, there are a lot of insect meat stacks now going on. I was uh, thinking about where to put down these turrets. So. I do like uh, the modular character of the turret defenses, even though it didn't work out this time, but uh, I don't mind. Next time it'll be better. So... Uh, uh, was Flay's actually good with people? I don't think he was. No, uh, Jane was the good good person on the people. On the people business. All right, let's uh, let's see what they have. Okay, so uh, wow, my iguanas are practically worthless. <laughs> They're normally not that worthless. So uh, I could buy some some breeding uh, buddy for Risa. I'm tempted. I, I think I have enough food. I'll uh, I'll sell the insect jelly. A sculpture goes right away too. So uh, I'll buy those herbal mids. Have a few units of plasteel as well. Uh, I'll trade the uh, insect jelly for a pemmican. That's a good one, good trade there. And uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to uh, to go for this. I'm going to buy that donkey because uh, donkeys are super valuable. Um, they they make up good tanks and caravan animals. And also, breeding those guys opens me up another uh, source of income for the colony, so it's a good one. It's a really, really good one. Uh, sadly, I'm not rich enough to uh, rule out insect meat out of my uh, cuisine, but it doesn't get cooked there. Oh, do they use it here? No. Hmm. So, I did set up a kibble job, hey? I did? I did. Okay. Nice. Sure. The hay grass is working out too. Cool. Cool, cool. Let's drop down some more charnakite floor. There we go. 
and uh, this is going to be a a quite boring copy of the other rooms. Lignite. I'll, I'll prefer granite over lignite right now. Um. Okay, I'll do another uh, nice planting pot, of course, but uh, don't I have another lamp? There we go. And some venting. Let's turn these a little bit cooler. Okay, that's all done. Um... After Flays has been has failed the taming, I'll <laughs> I'll tell him to uh, fix this area here next, and uh, also somebody has to uh, clean this room. Like seriously, it's the worst part after the infestations. Cleaning up the stuff just takes forever. Okay, it's a big bed, but uh, construction 17, uh, 18, planet known master. Sure sounds pretty badass. Alrighty. So there's the new bed. Um, who were my lovers again? Uh, Caro and Lucy, right. There we go. And I'll be super happy if you would put a roof back on their, uh, on their room, you know? Roofs over rooms are just pretty cool overall. So, uh, next up will be, oh man. The animals are right now eating my meals out of the freezer, and I don't like that. At the same time, I'm I'm not having kibble uh, here in the barn, so I should really change that. So hay and kibble. There we go. No. I don't see the reason to keep kibble uh, in here, and I don't see the reason here to keep hay in here. This is just for kibble. Boom. And, uh... What do I make kibble out of uh, here in general? Human meat, insect meat, and apart from that, nothing. So, uh, hmm. Human meat would be an option, but this makes the people quite unhappy. But, uh... I don't have options to uh, produce a steady surplus of, uh, of, of meat to uh, feed my animals. That's the big problem here. That's why I feel like I'm having a hard time of... Uh, Restricting them uh, out of the uh, freezer area. But for now, that's what I'm going to do. Let's check how good it does work for them. As long as there's kibble, this will work out. But uh, afterwards, I think it won't have it anymore. Oh well. Ooh, assault rifle. Self-made assault rifles. So this will uh, bring Jane a proper weapon. I, I, I'll i keep the chain shotgun. I, I like to have one person uh, with a chain shotgun. Uh, Amanda just uh, forgot to re-equip her spear. There we go. And uh, Acevedo. So I'll need two of the rifles there. Alright.
So, um... Raw meat and plants, so I'll never be able to substitute the kibble component, the kibble meat component with anything else. It's quite complicated to uh, set this up and running. So basically, I need some uh, food which all the animals can eat um, all day in the barn. The uh, only real solution I'm seeing here uh, would be uh, storing potatoes in here. Because these boys here are also eating vegetables. So uh, maybe I'm going to do this. Also get rid of that porcupine. <laughs> I don't want to sound harsh here, but uh, I don't have use for a porcupine here. Um, precision rifling, awesome. So let's uh, go for the auto cannon turret next, and I'll order some assault rifles here. Already calculated the two I need, and. Uh, yeah. I guess I'm going to do that. The only other option I'm seeing is uh, planting some other crops. Um, which only get stored in here, like uh, planting some corn. But uh, I, I don't really want to plant corn uh, in, in this environment. Potatoes are the best thing, uh, the best bet I'll, I'll, I can get. And uh, yeah. Let's check how good this will work. I'm not sure if this is uh, not a bad idea in the end, but uh, let's try. No, this is all. These are both preferred zones. Mm. So, uh, there's going to be a second uh, butcher um, order. Uh, bu uh, butcher order. Kibble order. Um, and it'll end on 200. And I'll basically uh, chop up some. Uh, some kibble out of my own foods if I'll ever drop below 200 but if there's ever a surplus of uh, insect meat or human meat I'll use that until I'm done I think that's the best uh, thing I can do and uh, besides that I'm, I feel now uh, like we uh, we are now ought to uh, keep a steady surplus of kibble in the in the barn but the positive side uh, about this will be the donkeys stop eating my uh, meals. And this is uh, a big uh, <laughs> advantage. Also, I realized that... Uh, ah, it's the haulers. So, uh, it's the hauler animal thing. Mm, yeah, whatever. It's okay. i let them. Okay. So I feel like uh, it's uh, slowly getting time to end this episode. What a wonderful day here uh, it's been. There, we had some action, we had some peaceful moments of uh, expansion and uh, some moments of organization. I finally have my male iguana. The egg process is going <laughs> past 50%. Uh, sorry. This just uh, makes me really happy. I'm, I was waiting for this moment quite long. So uh, another thing that's really important. Yeah, okay, fertilized eggs are not allowed in here. That's good. So uh, fertilized eggs are allowed in here, though. Okay. So yeah, feel free to drop down a comment below if you have any thoughts, ideas, or whatever you want to uh, tell me. I always love to hear from you guys. I would also love some support on this video and this series. 
share it with your friends, give it a like, or even subscribe to my channel. Do whatever feels great for you. I don't mind if you do any. If you don't do any of those, just uh, keep watching, have fun. That's the most important things for me. So I hope you. I'll see you guys on the next episode as well when we're having custom made assault rifles. Um, and uh, auto cannon turrets in this area. So these are the basic ideas. See you guys next time. Bye bye.